In the case of the Bangor Auditorium, uh, it, it tends to have a different kind of mystique to it. They call it the Mecca um, for high school basketball in Maine. Um, did you, when, when you were playing high school ball or coaching high school ball, did you, did you ever have tournament games in there or play there? High Coach? school? Yeah. Tournament games. Yeah, we, we, I played there as a player at Old Town and mm -hmm. uh, coached Fort Fairfield High School there a yep. couple of years. And you were successful at Fort Fairfield and Old Town, right? Well, we had a good time. Good. Yeah, we were, <laughs> <laughs> we were so, quite successful. When we talk about the home crowd. Uh, one other thing that you've been very instrumental in lately is uh, the renovations to the pit at the University of Maine. Um, it hasn't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is important for basketball. And uh, I grew up in an era when you were coach, and the atmosphere at the pit, pit was electric. It was like the old Boston Garden. It was, you couldn't hear yourself think in there at times. And um, then they moved to the Bangor Auditorium and then the Elfon, and of course it's a bigger place. But uh, where did the, the idea stem from to get the basketball teams back into the pit, and how has it evolved? Well, they need a home court. They play now in, in Alphon Arena, the mm -hmm. basketball teams at the university, both boys and girls. And uh, the atmosphere there is, uh, it's not as close, of course, as the pit was and uh, it just doesn't create a real good home situation. So the work is to get back into the pit. Uh, back when my second or third year coaching, uh, we were, Sports Illustrated did a story on the, on the toughest six courts in the country to play on, and we were one of them. Wow, that's incredible. Here so in Orono, Maine. Maine. Um, I remember when I was a kid, they used to have, uh, I guess they called them the, the bleacher screechers, and uh, every time that the, I think the opposing team would score their first point, they would throw out rolls of toilet paper on the, on the court, and you had that sort of stuff going on. You don't see that at the Elfon these days. Uh, no, there's not that, that much of an atmosphere. Now, that much immaturity. A lot, uh, well, a lot comes with success, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, with success, that's going to come back, and uh, uh, you know, the men's team right now is making some strong movements. Yes. Oh, yeah, they are, yeah, they are. Was it, um, they, they beat Penn State just last month, I think? That's, uh, that's a big win. That's I mean, that's yeah. something that, that people who aren't basketball fans took note of, and I think yeah. that's what you need to kind of drum up the, uh, the interest.